Hello everyone and welcome back to Celebs Buzz. Today we've got some breaking news from the South African Parliament that has stirred up quite a bit of controversy. And let's dive into the details. The Economic Freedom Fighters, or EFF, successfully pushed a motion in the South African Parliament to cut diplomatic ties with Israel. The motion, led by EFF leader Julius Malema, called for the closure of Israel's embassy in Pretoria. Now, this move didn't happen without a heated debate. The ANC, or African National Congress, suggested amending the motion to specify that the closure of the embassy would only be temporary until a ceasefire is agreed upon and both parties commit to binding UN-facilitated negotiations. The ANC argued for a just and sustainable outcome. The motion eventually passed with the support of 248 members of parliament, while 91 voted against it. The ANC's chief whip, Pemi Majadina, took issue with opposition parties like the Democratic Alliance, DA, the Inkatha Freedom Party, Freedom Front Plus, and the African Christian Democratic Party, accusing them of hypocrisy. The ANC's amendment sparked debate, with the DA and its allies arguing that South Africa was scoring an own goal and limiting its role in peace negotiations. Some argued that the amended motion was dictating the outcome of negotiations between Israel and Hamas. Meanwhile, the Israeli government announced the recall of its ambassador to South Africa, Eliyad Belotserkovsky, following tensions over the conflict in Gaza. Malema, the leader of the EFF, praised the ANC for its maturity on the matter, while the DA and its allies warned of potential consequences, including difficulties for the 25,000 South Africans living in Israel. Malema, in tabling the motion, called for the international isolation of Israel, condemning the violence in Gaza. The EFF leader urged the world to use boycotts, disinvestment, and sanctions until Israel ends its military occupation. So, what happens next? President Cyril Ramaphosa will now have to consider Parliament's position. Although the power to remove the Israeli embassy still lies at the Union buildings, it's a significant move that reflects the ongoing global conversations around the Israel-Palestine conflict. That's all for today's update. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more updates.